Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, I hope you all are doing well. So, on One Photo Raw 2026 is coming soon this October, but I got to try the beta version, and it comes packed with a bunch of cool new features, from new masking tools, FX filters, upscaling, smarter selections, and many more. But one of the features that really caught my attention and that I find very useful is this tool that gives you a creative way to balance the foreground and background of your photos. It's the brand new split field filter. This tool lets you bring the background closer like a telephoto while maintaining the wide angle look in the background, all without complicated masking or extra layers. And in today's video, we're going to dive into how to use the split field filter. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. For your information, this is the beta version, so some features may not be final. So here's a wide angle landscape shot that I downloaded from Unsplash. To apply the split field filter, go to Effects tab, add filter, then select split field. By default, you'll see a transition line across the image. This line lets you magnify and move a portion of the image within frame. I can also move this line up or down or rotate it to match the composition. And I can also adjust the transition between these two parts to make it looks more natural. You can adjust where to put the line using the sliders as well, distance to move the line up and down, angle to rotate, and the transition. You can also use the built-in styles. For this photo, I'll place the line here and adjust the scale slider. I think that looks good enough. And here's the before and after. I can also use the nudge tool here to move the scene around and make it fit better, just like that. And it's not only for landscapes. You can also use it for portraits or street photography. Let's try another photo. You can apply it like this. And here's the before and after. The split field filter is simple but it opens up a ton of creative possibilities. You don't have to create multiple layers or complex masks to be able to do something like this. It's one of those tools that can quickly level up your edits in on One Photo Raw 2026. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you are interested, you can pre-order the On One Photo Raw 2026 now and get a special price. Feel free to use the link in the description to get a discount and to support this channel. There are still tons of cool features in On One Photo Raw 2026 that I'm going to show you in future videos. So make sure to turn on the notification bell, hit that like button if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.